All right, y'all, we're at our first spot here. Um, as you can tell, it's been raining the last couple, couple like 18 hours straight. It's been raining. So we're sitting at the first location right now. My dog here is kind of in the water, but we're going to get this baby set here in a couple minutes. What time is that? 58 still? It's good? All right, 8 o'clock. We're good to go. Find a good spot for it. See if I remember how to do this. Some bait in there. Go to the other side. Got a DP on the high bank trail here. You guys saw me pre-stake both of these. Um, I'm actually going to restake this. I don't like that. So, anyways, guys, we'll be getting down the road. All right, guys, we're in another one here. <coughs> Losing my voice. Uh, this is just a culvert coming from big timber, going over to a cornfield. So. We got like two inches of rain last night, guys, but I've already had one of my water sets that wasn't flooded out, so feels good, but it's just a little trickle crick, so we'll see what happens in the long run with my bigger cricks, but yeah, we're just filling up our DPs, down the road we go. All right, guys, got our 220 here. This is our second 220 location of the day. I might have showed this. I think I showed this in my pre-staking actually. There's a dead coon in the road. Um, yeah, we're just tucking a pair of 220s in this trail here. It looks really, really good. It's developed to be even better than I thought. And it was already really good. So get that set up there. Get us some nice soggy wet grass is what we're playing with today. So get that tucked in there like so. Pull it through. I don't like that other side being that open. I'm very specific on how I do my 220s. I love them overly boxed in. But yeah, that's how I do them, guys. Perfect tunnel right down that trail. Gonna have a cocoon in the morning. All right, guys. Got a triple set here in this really nice trail. One. Your other DP. Same that in. This is location number 32, I believe. I need that more in the middle. Number 32 for the day so far, about an hour and a half in, so we're moving right along. Get up here to the third one. Guys, if you notice, there's some steep, steep parts to this ditch, and I don't have my DPs on it. I got it on the flat parts in this little bench, so they can't get a running start to pop out of there. So, anyways, guys, down the road. All right, guys, we got another good set here. Um, you guys can see both my DPs are knocked over. That's been happening quite a bit today. That's a good sign. Um, just put my DP right in the middle of the trail, fill that baby up, and I'm using cat food, mix of pure anise, that's what I use, I just like having a little, little extra scent, for mainly for underneath my bridges and stuff, I got DPs under there, that's, that's why I always add some extra scent, but yeah, and done, on down the road. Alrighty y'all, um, it just, the rain just let up, it's about 1, 1.30 in the afternoon, Got a lot of stuff out. This is number 138 as far as locations go for the day. Um, we're, we're running and gunning now that, that rain's done. We're pushing hard. But got another DP in here somewhere right here from the trail going over. Get this baby set. Yeah, sorry guys. This is probably going to be a little bit shorter video just because it's been raining all day. Now, I'm not talking just a light rain. I'm talking a constant soaker. I've been through three sweatshirts already. So. Yeah, there we go. Two more DPs up down down the road. All right, guys, we're at the location. There's that big hog building up there. Looks like they knocked my DP over here. Get this baby set. Right smack dab middle of the trail. Filler to the brim. Off to go down the road. Well. It appears to me that this coon did not like my dog proof, so he took a dump on it. <laughs> I don't really appreciate that. I've never had that happen. But <laughs> that's funny, guys. I've actually never seen that happen. I've said a lot of dog proofs before, and that's never happened. So kind of interesting, but we're rolling. Sitting at probably around 200 ish traps out so far. Alrighty, y'all. Um, I showed you guys this one 
I was pre staking this really good culvert from a big timber over to a cornfield. So go ahead and Sam this baby. And guys, my dad gets these uh these supplement mixes. That's what this is. That's what this is, and it comes in these jars. Let me tell you what, they work perfect for coon bait. I probably got like 30 of them. I don't need that many, but can't throw one away. So I keep them all. Get this baby set, this sucker here is gonna be a muddy disaster, but that's all right. And bingo bongo, there we go. All right, y'all, we're just about 50 yards from where that last set was. Already had another one here. Fill it up, hop down the trail, set our DP, put in there. I've made sure that these are far enough apart where they won't be able to reach both. There we go, guys. Repetition. Woo! You guys caught me in a predicament. Almost tripped and fell on my 220 cable there. Um, just throwing a setting this 220 over here location 170 something i don't know but me and my buddy we're we're moving today so Help. huh Help. i'm just trapping right. have a good one love people like that nice old guy just checking to see how i'm doing love seeing that but where a real note where's my muskrat stretcher uh, Did you say found it yeah he just asked me oh. what i was doing so but yeah guys we're gonna get this get this 220 thrown in here real quick all right between that grass this is the trail going over top of a culvert my buddy just baited the two dps on the other side so get this baby fenced in i don't really like this brome grass because it's too short to really wrap it around over the top, but we'll make it work. Fluff up then. I like it. I'll be a coon tomorrow. All right, guys, you can't get a much better 220 location than this. Um, I gotta actually find where my 220 is. Here it is. Um, you guys can see they're going down through all this marshy stuff. We're in a creek bottom here. There actually wasn't water in here when I pre-staked it, but we just got about two, two and a half inches of rain, which didn't honestly bring the creeks up that much. Ooh, my safety came off. That's kind of sketch. Didn't bring the creeks up near as much as I thought, so I think my water line plans are definitely still, still going to work out. But now I can't find where I set that rat stretcher at. There it is. Only downfall, these rat stretchers, it's hard to hard to find them sometimes, but you guys can see it's been raining all day, now it's sunny out. Welcome to Iowa. Gotta love it though. We're just gonna tuck this 220 right down in there. Just like that. Right there. I'm gonna pull some of this grass up. Get some more grass from up here. It's already basically funneled down, but I really like to, really like to, you guys can tell I really like to guide them into these 220s, so. There we go, down the road. All right, guys, got another 220 location here. One thing I've been doing today, um, this rain's really knocked down some of the grass. This spot's not bad, but our tunnel's still formed here, but I've been kind of almost remaking some of their, um, funnels for them if you will kind of fluffing them back up uh, we got a pretty good wind going right now so it should dry this grass out pretty quick it's actually already drastically drier than it was earlier so that's definitely helping out a lot between that and it's about 45 degrees right now absolute perfect trapping weather other than i hope i hope there's some clouds over this full full ish moon tonight whatever you want to call it it's going to be pretty bright tonight i hate trapping coon if it's a bright night because it can really suck but definitely puts a damper on coon movement. Let's get some grass here. Hard to grab grass over here. There's so much coon poop everywhere. Get down in here. Shove, shove some grass on the side. Cover that up. Bring part of their funnel over. I don't like how that's leaning. There we go. Good to go. All right. Those of you that have followed along with me know that I 
absolutely love the beaver trap and we got a beaver dam here so we're gonna try and get them if we can ground and put in oh boy that's a rock try over here another dam nope um, right in there i'm fine with that they're not gonna pull that out one thing I will do though, drop my actual rod. Yeah, there we go. Put this trap in here. I'm gonna put it back a ways just to get that back foot, slick up the bank, make it look all nice and purdy. And then grab yourself a twig or whatever. I usually just grab whatever the heck's laying around. Get a glob of that, shove it in there. Where a beaver pokes his nose on there, drops his feet, and he's done. All right, y'all. We just wrapped up the day uh, setting. Didn't get everything out, but I'm trying to keep the last little, like, 20 locations just to keep some fresh stuff coming. So we'll probably set that day two or three. But we got 276 locations out, probably around 360 to 370 traps. So tomorrow's going to be a big day. It's going to be a huge day, and it's got to be because it's about to get really cold really early from what they're talking. So got to get them while they're moving. But anyways, guys, I'll see you, see you tomorrow with a bunch of coon, hopefully.